Hi there. My name is Holly Hubert. I currently live in West Palm Beach, Florida. I am a wisdom graduate four times over, and I just finished my first year of partnership explorations. I am thrilled at the title of my poster, Belonging to and Living in a Landmark Community, drew you to this inquiry. Traditional forms of housing no longer address the needs of many people. Some people like me are lonely and yearn for a sense of community and belonging. Some families wish to live near people they know and trust to support family and social life. There's a better chance of people achieving a sense of belonging if they join or form an intentional community that shares not only common facilities, but also a common culture and members regularly associate with each other on the basis of explicit common values. People living in intentional communities often report a greater connectedness, support, safety, health, and enjoyment of life. You can see how much living near or with friends is valued by many of the TV shows that we have seen over the years, including shows like The Golden Girls, Friends, Seinfeld, and many others. There are many models of intentional communal living, including co-housing, a grassroots movement that grew directly out of people's dissatisfaction with the isolation of modern housing choices in Denmark. The term co-housing is specific to the kind of model of community that combines the autonomy of private dwellings with the advantages of extensive shared common facilities with a larger group. Decision-making is often made by consensus and neighbors regularly gather in a communal kitchen to cook, eat, and socialize. Intentional communities can be rural or urban, small or large, progressive or conservative, secular or religious, alternative or almost mainstream. They go by many names, including co-housing, echo village, housing cooperative, co-living or shared housing, tiny house village, multi-generational housing, manufactured housing, roommates in a mansion, and more. There is also the possibility of joining a community that already exists. Even maybe a landmark community is already in existence. Let's find out. However the community is configured, the general goal is similar, to have a lively and positive social environment where individuals would have a feeling of belonging and in many cases where they would know people of all ages and where they would be able to grow old and continue to contribute productively. The foundation for intentional community is a good resource hub for people wanting to join or start and build an intentional community. Check it out at ic.org. What could be available if five, 10 or more wisdom graduates carefully created a vision for living together where all different aspects of their lives support one another? Can we create the type of life you want to live regarding connections and which support your values? Sharing resources possibly provides an economical and ecological benefit. Ideally, we value kindness and emotional generosity, inclusiveness, and the distinctions that this is what life looks like when it's working and all is well. A song that has always touched my heart and brought tears to my eyes is John Denver's Take Me Home Country Road to the Place Where I Belong because authentically feeling like I truly belong is, for me, a sacred, unfulfilled life purpose. Is a sense of belonging something you yearn for as well? What if we intentionally create our originating circle? Can this idea of creating a community based on landmark distinctions be the fertile soil for you to design the life you've been dreaming of? Community living is not without its challenges, of course. The opportunity 
in community is to work through interpersonal dynamics and hopefully we learn about ourselves and others through the experience. I imagine a facility with the distinctions of the communication courses and nonviolent or compassionate communication would be a very valuable skill. I am not at this time advocating for any particular model. My intention with this poster is to invite you to share your vision for how best to live together and give and get support for what matters most to you. Is living in a community of landmark graduates an adventure that piques your interest? What important dreams could you see fulfilled in one of these models? If you move to such a village, who would you love to have as neighbors? What's the shape and focus of a network of conversations you would like to have with people around you? If we discover consensus, then we would move forward in creating a community of like-minded wisdom and partnership graduates. Consider joining me in co-creating a strategic vision for our future of housing and neighborhood that gives who we are more space and support. Where neighbors know and help each other in various ways, including supporting our personal growth and development. Please enjoy envisioning the possibilities with me and let's have fun bouncing ideas around. Let's create the type of life you want to live regarding connections in which support your values. If you're interested, please email me at wisdomvillage2022 at gmail.com. And I will figure out how next we will dialogue. What is right for us may be born into existence in this conversation. Thank you for who you are and be in this world.